But again, this idea of, of peeling the soul out of the body and training ghosts. <laughs> what is going on here? You know what I mean? Uh, literally to the point that uh, the the in, these abductees themselves, like I said, they'll be instructed in many different ways, in many different contexts. And then they'll be told, now you will not remember this. And so what happens with them is that they get back into their body and there's cognitive dissonance. The soul knows, but the brain doesn't remember. So what, what's so fascinating about this hypothesis is how much the body is scaffolding to the soul, right? We're seeing without eyes. We're feeling without hands. We're walking without legs. We're thinking with a whole, with a completely different brain here. And that's why I'm leaning more towards the hypothesis of the soul being made another species than that of the body it inhabits. Almost like a puppet soul master. Have you ever seen one puppet masters? 100% that, that to which they would wear the human body as a, a biological avatar. Now this would make sense when you look at Ray Fowler's research and Ray Fowler worked with Betty and Bob Luca, Ray Fowler said they are the butterfly of us. We are the larva form of them. Now, but what that means though, is that death is just a process and that they, according to Ray Fowler, they, they are us, we are them. Now, I think this particular theory is so it's structured in such a way that it is us from the future, in a way, right? They are alien to us, because what's more alien to us than the afterlife? But the question you ask is a very important inquiry. What are they doing to the soul? Um, I, I've had people reach out to me. One in particular told me that they, uh, they threw her in a pool of corpses and told her to resurrect them again necromancy it's through and through in many of these cases uh but anyways yeah so so again the idea of them of plucking the soul out of the body i think they're, they're, they're studying the soul in and of itself what are its capabilities what and again i i it points me back to the idea that uh they either authored it or they're trying to hack it or it is a food source in a way. Now, now this gets back to, well, if there's such a threat to us, why wouldn't they kill us all? That's not a good argument. The more the proper argument would be, uh, why are they leaving all of us alive? Right? It's like you go back into the hypothesis Dr. Color Turner had, where we are essentially cattle to them. And being cattle to them, they have to have us replicate in order to keep our species alive. But anyways, getting back to this idea of, of them plucking the soul from the body, it's not just what they're what they're doing, it's what they're doing to the soul. Now, now we're getting into, again, Betty and Bob Luca's case study. Uh, Betty Luca, when she left her body, they did something to, to her consciousness to such a degree that when she re-inhabited her body, her body began to manifest skin anomalies. Now, what's important to notice is that they did not take her body in this specific case study, in this specific abduction account. Other times they had, but in this particular case, they took her out of her body, and yet the scoop marks still appeared. Which would suggest to us that a lot of these experiencers are having out of body abductions and we're looking at them collecting the physical data and saying yeah they must have scooped something out of your flesh i would hypothesize to everybody that's going to be listening to this and watching this that what happens to the soul happens to the skin and that what we're witnessing are subdermal skin anomalies that are moving from underneath the skin to the surface because what they're doing is manifesting to the soul and then through the skin do you want to help support Beyond Forbidden and receive extra content that's not seen anywhere else? By becoming a patron, a few things you will receive are 
the full length 90 minute or 120 minute podcast episode members will also receive a private link of the video podcast and will only be exclusive to patreon members in-person face-to-face interviews with some of the most well-known respected researchers behind the scenes footage of interviews not seen anywhere else and that's just a few perks so what do you have to lose cut out one brain writing overly processed happy meal a month that doesn't do anything beneficial for your mind body and spirit and become a patreon for just five bucks <laughs>